Hi. You are perfect. I just had lunch with my sister and it happens to be right next door to the Goodwill. So we are at the Goodwill today. We are here in Lemoyne and we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Okay, well, let's see what we can find today. One of these. Still don't know what these are. <laughs> I think some of you may have suggested cigarette holders, maybe. I'm not gonna pick up another one though. <laughs> Still don't know what the other one is. Oh look, it's one of these. I bought bowls with the cat on it before and they've done really well for me. Obviously this one is a plate. Made in China. Pick it up. Like I said, the bowls have done well for me in the past, even though they're contemporary. It's something from an aquarium, I would assume. purchased a biscuit jar the other day with that same shape. It was actually vintage though. $4.99. I think that's contemporary. This choking plate. I know I've had others come in before that I should pick these up because they're really good for resale. And in my experience, they're not very good for resale, so I don't normally pick them up. It's kind of crazy how one person's experience can be different than another person's experience, so you should always do your own research. That's wild. Oh, these are neat. Those are art pottery, two goblets. Pick those up. Hmm. There's a nice twist in that. I think somebody donated their bell collection because there was a bunch of bells back there. Let's see that bell. That's a nice looking bell. That one's hand painted. I'll go around the corner and check out the next aisle because they are restocking. That has a nice contrast with the oh, Nate Burkus for Target. <laughs> that ivory and gold. So I'm not convinced. Is it Order of the Eastern Star? I don't know. Cats? Alright, let's go check out vases. How are you, ma'am? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing pretty good? It was good. It was boring. <laughs> oh my God, you're here right now. I am. That's kind of neat. Florida shawl. Oh, it's made in. Where is it made? Is it made in Florida? Probably not. <laughs> That's a Florida souvenir. Probably not made in Florida. It's made of glass. Strawberry milk. We're gonna do browse through the mugs. What is that? That is massive. That strikes me as being like a soup mug. There's another bell. It is the day of bells. We looked at that, never mind. I'm like, wait, it's a teapot. But we looked at that the last time we were here. Here are some more bells down here. That one's kind of fancy. I don't know, I was kind of hoping I'd find some Fenton bells. <laughs> that would be nice. I'm not seeing any though. 
Maybe they've just yet to hit the shelves. These are made of resin. Not really seeing a whole lot here today. And I saw them push out one cart and I have not seen another one since. That's kind of neat. Look at that. Nice porcelain handle on that. Hmm. Oh, that's a pie cutter, maybe? I don't think it's worth picking up, though. So there are some bells over here as well. Look at this one. That's a pretty bell. That one's Fenton. <laughs> I knew if we looked long enough, we'd find some Fenton. Stick that one in here. All right. So on a quest for bells, I decided to look over here in the holiday section. I thought, you know what? Maybe there's some holiday painted bells that maybe ended up over here. We're gonna have a bell collection. They're gonna have some Fenton bells, right? Maybe. We found one. Maybe there are more. Probably not gonna be in this little bag either. So I'm not sure why I'm looking. I don't even see any bells. He's darling. I think we've looked at him before though, haven't we? Gibson housewares. This is really cute. How much is it? I can't do it one hand. This is four dollars and ninety-nine cents. It's actually surprisingly heavy. I'm not sure who makes it. It's likely contemporary, but um, it's got good weight to it. Makes me think it's more quality made than a lot of uh, contemporary pieces. I'm gonna grab it. Stick it in there and keep going. C E. I must wonder if that has something to do with autism. It's very heavy and clunky though. Here is a um, one of those whistles. I forget what they're called. I know it starts with an O. No markings on it. Made it from clay, $2.99. Stick that in there. Avon pipe. <laughs> I thought that maybe this was American Girl doll. Is it? I don't think it is. It's OG doll. You know American Girl doll stuff could be worth some money. What is this? Oh, that's for, um, candles? There's a snuff, sniffer, snuffer. <laughs> and like a wick trimmer. It has a nice pattern to it. It's TJ Maxx, $5.99. Maybe I need to go shopping at TJ Maxx more often. That looks like a giant mold seam on that. But I do like the glaze. Ooh. I've got some Murano. But this is not real Murano. This is La Vazeration. Made in the technique of the masters of Murano, right there in Italian. That's my translation, of course, but um, that's basically loosely what it says. So don't be fooled by this sticker if you ever see it out in the wild. This is not real Murano. How much do you want on it? $6.99. I mean, it is a nice bowl. I could probably get more for it in my booth. 
think I might. 28 bucks. 28 to 35 in my booth probably just because aesthetically it's a nice it's a nice Hamblona glass bowl. But it's not real Murano. So um, a lot of people fall for that. <laughs> oh, that, look, it's right there in English actually. <laughs> Here I am trying to translate the Italian. The artwork is done according to the technique of the masters of Murano. Um, so I'll pick this up. This is something I could put in my booth. Make a little bit of money on that. But I just want everybody to be clear that it is not actual Murano. Um, and then there's something else. Oh, this. This milk glass for $3.99. I've been picking up a lot more milk glass lately. I know some of you have picked up on that. Um, no pun intended. I've been decorating a lot with it in my own home. That's part of the reason. It just looks nice in my own decor, and I thought, you know what? For the pieces I don't use in my own home decor, I'm offering for sale. There's a little bit of meat on the bone there, so I'll pick that up for $3.99. Alright, so I was trying to find some giveaways uh, for my Lucite sales tonight, and um, <laughs> I have lots of glass and stuff to give away. But I was like, you know what, I'll look through the plastic section because it's a Lucite sale, and I should probably have some like plastic things, like Lucite resin, um, to go along with this, the theme, you know? Um, just didn't feel right giving away glass for a lucite sale. So these were really adorable. These are Gans. I don't know. I think they were really cute. I think they're matchy matchy though. So um, $2.99 and $2.99. I'll grab those. And then as I was getting ready to film those, I noticed over here. That's kind of wild. What is that even? What is that? Is that a pencil holder? I don't, I don't know. It's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> those are neat. Those are butter pads, I think. I wasn't expecting those in the craft section. What are these? Pirates of the, in, in the Caribbean. Wait, get back here. Pirates in the Caribbean. Is that like before Pirates of the Caribbean? Are those vintage? Is there a date? No. Made in China. <laughs> I don't know. I might look those up. If I remember. I'll write those behind too. Alright. I don't know. I thought the, <laughs> the little penguins are cute. They're, those make for a good giveaway. It appears as though a lot of five of those bandanas, brand new, sold for $6.99. So that is a bad decision as far as resale goes, and I'm going to leave them behind. Here is a Lucite thingamabobber. I'm not really sure if it's a trinket dish or a soap dish or what it is. It's $2.99. I'll make for a good giveaway. Oh, look at these. Purples. Not that I need any charcoals, but those are cool. I kind of ventured off from the figurines and the vases. I decided to check the other shelves because occasionally there will be other goodies tucked in over here. Ah! It's hard to do this one-handed. So here's an anthropology mug for $1.99. Starla Hoffman. C. I think they normally have different letters on them. This one just so happens to be a C. Oops. So I think I'll pick this up. Stick that in here. There you go. Now we know its purpose. It is a coaster. Okay. Um, I was thinking of maybe making my way towards the exit. Hey, look, Big Bird. Big Bird knife and fork. <laughs> I feel like we need a spoon. All right, well our total spend there was $56. And I feel like we got some pretty good stuff today. Um, we didn't get a whole lot, but we got some 
some nice things. I feel like that art glass piece will look nice in the booth. Like I said, I'm not going to price it like it's real Murano. I'm going to price it like it's a home goods piece, which it probably is. Uh, but I love that green color and I think it has a nice shape. Aesthetically, it is pleasing, but it is not Murano. Um, also that bird candle holder, that was nice as well. I had a good weight to it. It didn't feel cheap and flimsy. Um, and that's why I picked that up, even though it was contemporary. Um, uh, yeah, we did all right today. Um, it wasn't our best day. It wasn't our worst day. <laughs> it was a good trip to the Goodwill. I'm going to get out of here now. I got to get back to the shop. We have a whatnot sale. Uh, we are having whatnot sales every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern. And, uh, tonight is Lucite. So I still haven't decided on a theme for next Wednesday. I still don't know what we're doing. Um, uh, but we are having a whatnot sale next Wednesday. Um, and I can figure out what we're doing. I think maybe I'll just go around the shop and find stuff. I don't think there will be a theme. I think it'll just be a let's get stuff out of here sale, which I need to do um, because all of these themed sales aren't really getting stuff out of here because I'm actually buying more stuff to get rid of. <laughs> so anyway, um, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. The one. All right. Well, I started editing that Goodwill video and I realized how short it was. <laughs> so I'm on my way to Havre de Grace today to meet up with Kate. And I was driving through Shrewsbury and I thought, hey, there's a small Goodwill here in Shrewsbury. Let's stop and see what we can find because it's small. It won't take very long to go through, but it's worth, it's worth, you know, checking out. So uh, we're going to head into this Goodwill. We'll see what's here. It's worth, you know, at least checking. So um, let's head in. Here we go. All right. I forgot how noisy it was in here. They look like either pot metal or pewter, one or the other. That looks like it could be pottery. It is pottery, but it's probably some sort of contemporary bowl or something. It doesn't look like it has very much age. That reminds me of a popsicle. I kind of like those. I don't think they've got much age, though. It's a contemporary decorative thing. What is this? That's pretty in the back. Come here, you. Painted by R. Kate James. This is probably uh, more contemporary than it is old. And um, just because it's um, thicker. I don't know where to set it back down. We'll just slide it in right there. I wanted to look. Oh, <laughs> there's two of them there. I thought it was a uh, really thick milk glass. All right, there is a look home cat right there with those whiskers. It's kind of hard to miss. Ah, she's missing one of the whiskers. It might not be a look home cat. It's not signed. I don't know. So it might be a knockoff. There's a kitschy little kitty cat. This was probably part of a family. Oh, hi. You are perfect in every way for my weirdo sale. That's perfect for a weirdo sale. I need this. $2.99. I was going to say, is it price? If it wasn't price, they wouldn't sell it to me. I would have been so sad. What are these? Oh, look, praying hands. I win. <laughs> there was a small child running by when I said hi, and she like stopped like a stranger danger. <laughs> she thought I was talking to her. Oh my goodness. Hanover Direct, made in Taiwan. I wonder if that's Hanover, Pennsylvania. I just kind of like them because they're bananas. They're perfect for banana splits. Banana split splits? Yeah, you know what, I'll pick those up, $6.99. I wonder if this was a purse. Maybe, I don't see anywhere for a strap. Oh, there's, no, I don't see anywhere for a strap. Maybe on the side? I'm not sure. Right, let's check out the wood. Oh, those are cute. Natural Bridge, Virginia souvenir. Although that uh, little bubble there is squished and pressed in. There's a cart over here, but not a whole lot in there. Nothing enticing. Hmm, that looks Japanese. Yeah, made in Japan. Look, look right there. It says made in Japan. I wonder if he's supposed to hang. What do you put in him? Do you put incense? 
It wouldn't make sense to put a tea light. Maybe you put a flower. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna stick it in here. And then I wanna investigate this, cause that's weird looking. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I wonder if that's tarnished silver. I think it might be. It could be. It's a comb. Let's see, check this out. It's a fancy comb. It has a metal case. I don't know, it could be silver. It's very tarnished. <laughs> I don't know, I see some oxidation on that. So I'm gonna go with not silver, but it is really cool. I love the design on that. So we're gonna take that with us as well. That's a fancy mirror, but it has a monogram on it. It's a little bit harder to sell when it's personalized. All right, well, I think that's gonna be it for us. Like I said, this is a smaller Goodwill, but I figured we'd stop in. We'd, uh, we'd add to the video a little bit. I like to keep my videos around 18 to 24 minutes and um just wasn't long enough so i wanted to bring you guys a little extra and there it is there's the little extra what do we have back here this looks more of a hobbyist piece than an actual um apple molar jar and then we saw one of these when we were when we were out in springfield that's a shame that has a crack somebody loved it enough to glue it back together though Lots of love for the chicken.